Hello, I'm Dr. Janet Six, Senior Product Manager at Tom Sawyer Software, and today we're going to talk about how to add an inspector view to your project. The inspector view represents the attributes of model elements in a two-column table. The attribute names are in the first column, and the attribute values are in the second column. Single or multiple model elements can be selected. And if you enable editing in your inspector view, you can specify the cell editor, which controls how the attribute value can be interactively changed. In today's video, we're going to show how to add an inspector view to this example application, which tracks task dependencies, task duration, and tasks remaining for a large project. First, we're going to open the project in Perspectives Designer. On the left side, we see the project definition tree, and we're going to add a new view. We're going to select Inspector and press OK. And here, we're going to choose the domains that we're going to use. A domain is a filter upon the model. So in this case, we want to select the task, person, and category parts of the model. And we click OK. Next, we're going to choose which attributes we want to show in the inspector. We can pick and choose specific attributes, or we can include attributes dynamically. With dynamic attribute inclusion, the attributes are automatically detected when a user selects one or more elements in another view, and then those attributes are included in the inspector view. This feature is especially useful if all attributes are not known at application design time. And we click OK. Let's look at the preferences. And here we can select the header, tab appearance, editing, sorting, and selection options. Today we're going to take the defaults. The inspector view is now defined. Let's go add it to our dashboard. We press the plus sign and choose the inspector view. And now it is part of our dashboard. Let's go to our web preview and see what it looks like. We're going to go and select this task. And you can see how the views are synchronized with the same element highlighted in all of the views. And then over here on the left side, we see the inspector with all of the details for that element. Next, we're going to add editing capability so we can update the data right in the inspector. We return to Perspectives Designer and the Inspector View Preferences. We're going to update Dynamic Attributes Editable to Yes. And we'll click OK. And that's all there is to it. We're going to go back to the web preview. And now we're going to select the same task that we did before. And over in the inspector, we're going to update the estimate. So I'm going to change this to three. And when I hit enter, you will see the node change size before our eyes. And there it is, the smaller task. In today's video, we discuss the benefits of the inspector view available in Tom Sawyer Perspectives. Then we added an inspector view to an application. And then we updated the ability to edit attributes directly in the inspector view. Thanks for joining us. Contact Tom Sawyer Software today to start your free trial of Tom Sawyer Perspectives.